Jet TV, just in time. Sanmun and Babagela Makai and a very warm welcome to Jit TV News where we bring you nothing but politics, business, sports and entertainment all in one experience. Zika Malamu Antile Kukule, it's in Tombia wa Tindi Umashlav. Let's quickly take a look at your headlines for today. Three killed, 18 feared missing after Zimbabwe gold mine collapse. Zim, a UAE firm, sell 1.5 billion US dollars a carbon credit still. Magazole Mabimbi's World Cup hopes to end the balance after Cadley's high tackle. Now, the death toll from a shaft collapse at a disused gold mine in Zimbabwe was expected to rise to 13, and Vice President said, according to state media, he said 21 out of 34 miners believed to be underground at the time of the collapse had been rescued. Eight have been confirmed death, uh, with three bodies rather removed from the mine and five located but not yet removed, Chiwenga said. The collapse happened at a disused German-owned mine that had not been properly sealed off, allowing unofficial artisanal miners to find their way in to search rather for any deposits left over. Sakavan Vango Manikis or Kushanda, the Chikurukosa, Kurukosa, as mine, I chat over Pamutemo Pokutiva, Navarambe very pass, Nebutu Agaramba, very passiva, Navia Sevano Parara, Passiva, Navia Sevano Parara. Now, Position the Citizens Coalition for Change, a triple C, has challenged the ruling Zonu PF and the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission that whether they like it or not, Zimbabwe will soon have a fresh, free, and fair elections. Triple C spokesperson Pramas Mkwanadzi wrote to X that President Emerson Mnangagwa will be forced to, to go on the ballot box again after an election that was condemned by the regional bloc, Southern Africa Development Committee, SEDEC, and the international community. Um, last month. Chamisa, he added, had already stated what is currently governing is an illegal, illegitimate um, interim de facto arrangement peaceful means would be used to make sure a re-election re rather will be done. Just in Time Television introduces a revolutionary game changer, a massive banner, bringing your live streaming, be it entertainment, news, animation, reality shows, you name it. Visit our website at www.jeetstrokeTV.tv where you can stream just in time and subscribe for only 10 Rand. And don't forget to go on our social media platforms at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Jeet TV is still yet to bring you. Entertainment is our game. Let's take a look at the African news for today. Now, flights resumed between Libya and Italy on Saturday after a nearly decade-long suspension due to a ban by the European Union. 25 passengers boarded Saturday's flight operated by Libya-based Amadeski Airways, which will offer a twice-weekly direct connection to the Italian capital Rome. The EU stopped flights operated by Libyan airlines and banned them from entering member states' airspace in 2014 as the country was murdered in intense fighting. Let's take a look now at the international news for today. Now, at least 13 people have been killed in Spain's deadliest nightclub fire in decades, with fears the toll could rise further as emergency services search for more victims. 
the cause of the blake, uh, blaze, rather, which broke out earlier on Sunday at the theatre venue in the southeastern city of Mercia, is not yet known. Survivors gathered outside the nightclub described the scene to journalists as emergency services carried out on their work. At, um, at the time rather, of the incident, emergency services were dispatched with local firefighters calling in helicopter to help to tackle the blaze. Banks of the mighty Zambezi River, right on the edge of the national park, as Zambezi occupies the most unique and finest spot with the tranquility and seclusion every traveler seeks. Each of its well-appointed rooms is either garden or river facing, allowing you to soak in the serenity of the environment. The award-winning restaurant Amlonga offers delectable cuisine which includes our famous high teas. To explore Victoria Falls from this fine location, book any of our packages now. Our Zambezi River Lodge. Relax, refresh, replenish. Let's get down now to the business side of news for today. Now, Global Carbon Investments, a tri-blazing green investment vehicle based in the United Arab Emirates, has signed a $1.5 billion US dollars memorandum of understanding with the Ministry of Environment, Climate and Wildlife to unlock the value of Zimbabwe's carbon sinks and carbon mitigation measures. The money is for financing the development and sale of future carbon credits in the form of internationally transferable mitigation outcomes aligned with Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. In this pioneering agreement with GCI, Zimbabwe will be propelled to the forefront of such ITMO-based financial facilities, the first of its kind within the African continent. Now, Dr. Becerra said smallholder farmers must have a three plots per thought by October 31 for them to apply to receive inputs under um, full water um, into our presidential input scheme. Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Development Permanent Secretary uh, Mr. John Becerra revealed this during a recent media luncheon held in Harare. His announcement comes as farmers across the country are seized with preparing for the 2023-24 cropping season that traditionally starts in October. Dial of Technology now introduces an innovative and convenient way to receive medical assistance. The Plus 263 Health app is a virtual medical care platform with a comprehensive network for doctors, specialists, hospitals and pharmacies to interact a lot easier with patients in the comfort of their home. To access the app, you can download it on Google Play Store or Apple Store, create your own account online, search for a verified doctor and choose to visit or consult any doctor via video call or WhatsApp to give out details on your prescription for just a minimum consultation fee. That way you can go to any pharmacy near you for your pickup, creating a better world with Plus 263 Health app. As you can see as an example, this is a live patient consulting a real doctor. For more information, visit the website at www.plus263health.com. Stop waiting on queues for long hours and move from difficult to easy life with Plus 263 Health app. Making health more affordable for every Zimbabwean because your health is our health too. And on your GTV News with a focus. And finally on your sports news for today. Now the Springboks are sweating over the fitness of Wenga Magazole Mabimbi after he was forced off the pitch in the World Cup Pool B match against Donga. 
He left the pitch to undergo a head injury assessment but did not return to action with Jersey Krell playing the reminder of 49-18 victory. Mabimpe's face was visibly swollen when he left the field as referee Luke Percy and the TMO reviewed the tackle from Mapulu and ruled that there was enough mitigation to warrant a penalty and nothing else. Speaking after South Africa's final pool game, head coach um, Jaki Neneba confirmed that Mabimpe had, had suffered rather a facial fracture, an injury that could see him being replaced in the 33-man squad. And that is it from me to you. A huge thank you for joining me today. As always, kindly please comment and follow us on all our social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Or rather you can go to our website at www.jit-tv.tv. Signing out, it is Andile Gokole. Have yourselves an amazing day. Hello, I'm Sasha Lee Taylor, Top 12 Miss World South Africa, finalist for 2023. And on behalf of me, JIT TV and South Africa, I'm wishing the Springboks all the best of luck for their game this Saturday. Go Boca! JIT TV, just in time. There are not so many places where MICE excellence has been achieved. Meeting in Zimbabwe is the best business decision you will ever make. Our adherence to COVID-19 safety protocols is second to none, coupled with the warm and hospitable nature of the people of Zimbabwe. Our conference facilities sit on marvelous backdrops which will offer a splendid experience that will leave a lasting impression on you and your delegates. The magic of Zimbabwe can be felt in every breath, bite and beat. Stadiums and exhibition centers are known for their international appeal and world-class standards. The high-end technology will surely enhance your experience of the exhibition, festival or concert. Motivate your team by treating them to a trip of a lifetime through our crafted itineraries. Should they have love for adrenaline-packed activities or calm and relaxed excursions, the enchantment will last a lifetime of memories. Mingle and engage with locals and enjoy our diverse culture and warm hospitality. Our mice drivers are ready to welcome you to Zimbabwe and exceed your expectations. The revolution shall be televised. Jet TV, just in time.